The consequences of Michelson and Morley's experiment still haunt all of physics. This fundamental experiment has been verified many times, but always on Earth. It is unthinkable that such a fundamental experiment, which is now so easy to carry out, has not yet been verified outside the Earth's reference frame. A Michelson interferometer must be sent into space without delay. A bit of history. For centuries, it has seemed obvious that light, like all waves, had to be carried by a medium. The interest of a medium for the propagation of light is to explain its speed of propagation. A wave in a medium has a speed of propagation related to the speed of agitation of the elements in that medium. As curious as it may seem, this is the case in gases and liquids as well as in solids. Newton's attempt to have light carried by particles was short-lived. He proposed a medium of varying density in space. His luminous particles would have made this medium vibrate when they encountered a solid. Huygens put an end to this duplication of causes with his wave theory of light. The discovery of polarization, by malice, gave the medium of light, a solid nature, the only one capable of transmitting transverse waves. The story is still far from over. The light would become an electromagnetic wave. And finally, Newton's vision prevailed because of the quantized nature of light, evidenced by the photoelectric effect. Einstein had, as early as 1905, the idea of quanta of energy exchange. However, he wrote in 1920 that, according to the theory of general relativity, a space without ether is inconceivable, because the propagation of light would be impossible there. These quantas were called photons in 1926. At the end of his life, in 1954, Einstein still saw photons, quanta of light, as a deep mystery. What happened, before these final twists and turns? The experience of Michelson and Morley. The light was therefore, carried by a motionless solid, filling the space. Thus, the stars would move, in this solid, quite bizarre, it must be admitted. The genius of Michelson was to find a way to measure the speed of the Earth in this solid and motionless medium. He developed his famous interferometer and together with Morley, he realized that the Earth is not moving relative to this medium when it revolves around the Sun at 30 kilometers per second. At the time, the galaxy was not yet discovered. Later Morley, performed additional measurements with Miller. They found speeds of up to 9 km per second, without any relation to the 30 km per second expected. Einstein attributed, these few kilometers per second, to temperature variations. Nothing new appears until Alice. He took up Miller's results, and converted them into side real time. His statistical calculations showed, unambiguously, that the speeds obtained by Miller showed a correlation with the respective positions of the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. In the meantime, the theory of special relativity had suggested that the problem was solved by bold hypotheses about the speed of time and the dimensions of space the very famous Lorentz formulas. Finally, the medium of light, the ether, was definitively eradicated by the photon. In space. What is very surprising is that, an experiment as fundamental as Michelson and Morley's, has only been verified on Earth. Why, since 50 years that space has been accessible, has it not been verified in space?
on the moon, for example? But the most significant thing would be to send a Michelson and Morley interferometer around the sun in the plane of the ecliptic, but turning in the opposite direction to the Earth. It will then inevitably measure a speed of 60 kilometers per second if the ether, instead of being motionless in space, as thought today, rotates with the Earth around the Sun. What if Descartes was right, at least in part, despite Newton?